It appears the inexperienced Pina Colada has basically just ruined her first battle by sending all her best people onto the wrong gate, but it's okay. Because we have the Apostle. We have the, 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 what's her name? Fucking Occult? No, not an Occult. She's like an Oracle. We have the Shinigami Lolly Mercury. That's right, not Rory, Lolly Mercury. And her way of God is basically, he just kill people. Killing is great. I'm sure she's gonna clutch this episode. Let's find out. Heli? Real world? Are they... What is it doing? Are we bringing in like fucking... Those like armed like heli... Like choppers? Into the fucking hill? Oh my... Oh, that's a reinforcement? So many new characters. I'm not gonna memorize their names, bro. Do I- should I bother memorizing their names? I'm not really sure. I'm not gonna bother until they're like, you know, pretty important. So many characters that. Oh, Ghost of Kilgore Lieutenant. Don't know what the reference is. All right, send the choppers into the gates. I guess we are. So like, they're being sent as reinforcements, but like, what if by the time they get there, Lolly Mercury has already cleared the entire, you know, enemy forces. Ride of the Valkyries. What is that reference? Something of the Valkyries, right? Song of the Valkyries? Isn't that a reference to some kind of movie or some kind of war code? Something of the Valkyries. Does anybody know? Apocalypse Now. I've never seen that movie, but it's like a legendary old movie, right? Uh, something of the Valkyries. Is, is the song just called Ride of the Valkyries or is it worded different? I forget. Wait, is he dead? I thought that guy was kind of important. Was that not an important character? Like, I, all right, all right. And then we shall die. That shall be our hymn to Emroy, the god of war. But we have an apostle of Emroy here. Would Roy Mercury be okay with this? Well, she's all for killing, right? Yeah, they are literally looking to die in battle. They're trying to go to Valhalla, man. Norma dead. The civilians have entered combat. What's going on with you? Why is she holding that? Why is she nutting? Because she worships the god of Emroy and people are dying. When people die, does she get horny? I don't I don't know. Does she gotta get involved in the action? Like how do you release this? Are being sent to Emroy through her body. And that's stimulating her. If people die, the souls go through her body. What? 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 People, whenever people die, is she just gonna moan? I see why you guys are all hyping her up. I, I see. I see why you guys are hyping her up. Where, 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 if she's a portal, where, where does the soul enter? Where, is it going from underneath it? Oh, is there an, an, is there an entry point of where the soul goes? I, it's a soul. Maybe it just passes through her body. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm just thinking bottom up, top down. Is she pooping the souls out to Emroy? Is it going up the pooper and then going out the adult? <laughs> Oh, we got a big boy here. Got like a juggernaut here with a mace. Pina, all you're doing is just standing in shock. It's still moaning. <laughs> oh, 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 wait, 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 she's moving. Oh, damn, she's fast as fuck. <laughs> Actually, it's not a myth, it's a morning start. Thank you. 
She's running fucking fast. So like, wh why, why do, we, why, why do we uh just like uh station there the entire time? Like Rory started running, then we started to drive. Why do we do that from the beginning? Cause like we were we just watching. Do we have to like hold our own gate just in case like people could attack this gate? Or Pina didn't want us to help. We needed her orders. Five minutes till reinforcements arrive. Rat of the Valkyries. Yeah, oh, this one! I know this one! I just didn't know the name. Nothing like classical music on a bunch of fucking medieval people. Classical music actually goes so hard, man. Yeah, whenever this music comes on, they're about to witness freedom, liberty, justice. <laughs> what, what other Kate Kona things is there? <laughs> Oil! America! Do you always break the V8? Lolly, Lolly Mercury's still running! The Morning Star! <laughs> that laugh, like, I don't know, like, probably Tokisaki Kurumi from Day to Live was more popular than Lolly Mercury, but that laugh. Oh shit, the Apostle is here. The Death God! You wanna try this? Hi -yi! <laughs> Lipstick does change when she pops off, huh? It used to be like pink before, now it's purple? It means that it's, you know, horny time? Oh, it's the sound of justice, guys. It's the sound of democracy. <laughs> this is not fair. <laughs> This is actually so unfair for him. <laughs> what are they gonna do? <laughs> They're gonna shoot a spear at the fucking chopper, yeah? They're gonna try to shoot it down with- Oh, no, no, no! <laughs> what did you say? What did you- When we get back out- <laughs> You know, you know, you know, if you want some fan, and now I'm sure they're gonna be fine, but this is classic. That's a lot of shells, bro. There is nothing sexual going on here with Chupa, Chuka, but somehow her cork going like this is 100% gonna be sexualized. My favorite human girl. Lele going in? <laughs> what are those arrows gonna do, bro? <laughs> I feel like they're like stealing Lolly Mercury's fire. Oh shit, Kuribashi going in! <laughs> The girls have fight again. <laughs> Is it even accurate to call it a sight? Oh, that's a lot of shit. Dude, that was like 20 people at once. More like a halberd axe. I don't know. Kuribashi, <laughs> yo. Okay, that's kind of cheating. Okay, come on. <laughs> that's kind of cheating. <laughs> Kuribashi going in with the fucking, you know, the bayonet was kind of cool until... And then she was going to lose and she just shot her. <laughs> this, this is sick. This is sick. I'm sure Lolly Mercury would have been fine. This is pretty sick. Okay. And the helper's gone. But oh god, she got the pistol. Yo! Kuribashi kind of cracked. Kuribashi actually kind of cracked. Lolly Mercury and Kuribashi! Dude! Back to back, like they're fucking rivals, wow! I never realized how, you know, important Kuribashi was! I wonder what 
they're thinking. Oh. Wait. Did Bro just get impaled accidentally? Because he was like on top of here. And then the explosion. Lollybird, she's not even caring about this. She like, just has it up. It's not war. It's a demonstration of power. This is straight up just execution. Shut your mouth, bitch. Is Rory Mercury, like, happy about this? Wonder how Rory feels about this. Oh, we better get the fuck out. Count to ten. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Luckiest guy. Carrying Rory Mercury. That's not Itami, right? Is that Itami? I can't really tell. Is Itami carrying Kuribayashi? Or maybe neither. Is that Itami? On the right, carrying a Rory or no? I can't really tell with his face. Maybe it is. <laughs> Why did they not run out together? I'm just... Like, like, they gave a countdown and everybody ran out. But, like, the people stayed inside. Like, if they ran out, it's, it's hard to kill them. Because we're kind of obfuscated with the army people. Also, maybe they didn't understand the language, right? They're speaking Japanese. It's not Isekai language. Are they, are they gonna call this a fucking, you know, armed dragon? Like the armored dragon or some shit? What, what is this chopper to them, you know? <laughs> I hear Pegasus. Alright, we got new names. Yeah, it's kind of busted, huh? It's unfair. Denies pride, honor, war? Yeah, that doesn't matter. I would argue that this is human creation, so it's not insignificant to be humans are. It's just that the power of science, technology. Japan, JSDF. Haha, <laughs> more propaganda. Welcome to modern science. Iron Pegasus. I'm most interested in how Rory Mercury feels about this because, like, even the guy that was like worshiping God Emroy saying this isn't a war, you know? I feel like. A little bit of the, the action and the bloodshed was stolen from Roy. So is she maybe upset about this? That it was handled too quickly? Or is she even more like enlightened that holy shit. I thought I knew bloodshed. This is like next level. Fucking let me ride one of those. <laughs> Where's that hand touching? You know. So. So. Oh, he, got, he definitely got punched for that. Wait, did he tell me? Did that intentionally? What was that? I couldn't tell because his hand was on her titty. Was that, a, was that a accidental? Was that intentional? I, I don't know. I feel like it was accidental, right? I don't think he noticed, right? She's pretty flat. He probably didn't know. And then, you know, she was like, the oh, fuck? Touching me? Psh. <laughs> Oh, that's the guy that they had. The, the blonde dude. True. Y'all don't deserve this credit. Well, they don't have to be your enemy. Could you not come to like a peace treaty or some shit? You're absolutely right about that, yes. Wait, what did she call it? Did she call it powerful magics? <laughs> powerful man. <laughs> yeah, the, what kind of magic is this? Bullet magic? Gun magic? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, your entire nation would be done. Yeah, you'd be enslaved. You said last episode that maybe you could take, you know, 50 to 100 men, didn't you? Actually, no, no, no. She said she could take maybe 1 to 2. 50 to 100 would be breaker. Right, that's what she said. Isekai Village, copy-paste. So then fucking glaze them up and try to get some kind of alliance. Diplomacy. Why, is, why, why, why are you blushing though? Why, 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 okay, why are you blushing when you say that? Or, do you have a humiliation kink? I think she does. 
I think that she's been belittled by her father so much that she subconsciously has a fucking submission, like a s- submission humiliation king, to the point where she's fucking blushing while she's saying, I'll kissing the soles of her feet. But she was even imagining her being tied up as a fucking slave before. Nothing wrong here, dude! Itarika Kyuen ni kansa shi. Sono taika no kosho o okonai tai. Setsu no orai no buji to. Wait. Why is Rory not facing Pina Colada? What's going on here? Is this something intentional? Something important? You know? Like, uh, I don't know, she's like not facing the people as if they're not worthy of her presence. Alright. Oh, was it Itami? Was it the Itami titty grab? You mainly. Like an equal, not like slaves. I mean, it's not like you can fucking deny that. Pretty fair terms. But okay. No taxes though, let's go. So humble, so nice. Oh, Magic? No, Itami just. They don't really give a fuck. Oh, I just realized the fucking. The punch mark on her hair. I think he's still looking for the magical girls, bro. Bye-bye, Bolt! Bye-bye! Goodbye, Iron Pegasus! あれ?お嬢さん方は?本来の目的の商談中。そのはずなのに。the art of the deal. And no more taxes, so we get even more profits. Is that a fair trade or what? I don't want to take a draft. Those are just promises. Oh. Information. Lately, thinking. What kind of Wonder what Lily got knowledge of. Aww. Three girls. Anytime he's still beaten up. Anytime he's still in detention. Dragon? No, 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 no. Sorry. It's a horse. Riding really fast. Tiara? Princess? So I guess it's gonna be an Ujo-sama type, huh? We got the ring curl blonde girl Tiara Ujo-sama. <laughs> 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 oh, it's a ringlet girl! Oh, yeah, the blonde girl from our, the, the, the captain, the order of the knights, right? The rose knights. Yo, the blonde girl's real nice. It's Pina Colada's friends. <laughs> Yeah, like, do you know how much work it takes to, like, put in the effort to have natural like, curls like this in real life? That's why most girls never fucking do this shit, bro. But, like, in Isekai world, for some reason, all the Ojo-samas have this, like, blonde, you know, ringlet. Okay, I, I like the yellow rose the most. Hello. What are they, fucking cops? You just show up, they're like, peep, peep. Pull down your fucking, you know, your window. Let's see your driver's license. Oh! Get out of the car! Bro, it's like... I don't give a fuck if they're waifus. I don't give a fuck if you got blonde ringlets. I'm gonna fucking go... 
Hello, hello. We come in peace. Yo, are we gonna take in hostage or prisoners? <laughs> you think he's fucking shot? They're abandoning him? They straight up just abandoned Itami. Alright. So you sent me a prison. Yeah, he told So when he said told him to run, I thought that he was telling the girls to run because the guys were getting ready with the fucking guns. I thought that run away was for the girls because the dudes were starting to fucking get real riled. Prisoner of war? I wouldn't mind being tortured by the, the ringlet girl, man. And that's the episode. Another episode of these medieval boonie-ass bumpkins witnessing the glory of modern technology. The Iron Pegasus. And we play the Ride of the Valkyries anytime we want to show them a little bit of democracy. A little bit of freedom. Liberation. America, well, it's Japan, but we gotta get the oil, but it's just fun to see, like, just how ridiculous the gap is between them and us, right? Modern technology versus them back in the medieval ages, trying to shoot a fucking arrow at a chopper. It's just so ridiculous. They can't do anything about it, huh? And we still have yet to see anyone use magic, huh? I'm just starting to realize that. There hasn't been, like, usually isekai shows, there's, like, people that can use crazy magic and bullshit like that. But everybody here are just, like... Regular soldiers. They just are stuck with their shitty ass swords and the shitty ass arrows. We haven't seen any type of like crazy fucking magic users. Was there spirit magic last week? I can't remember. But so far, all our enemies, the opponents, they don't really seem like isekai villains, huh? They're just kind of just like regular isekai villagers. That's like NPC, just characters. And they they have to fucking fight against like modern military. Just fucking insane. Win magic last episode. One of the bandits had a girl. To be honest, I don't fucking remember. That's how insignificant it was. But hey, Itami, he just, he's pretty much just taken prisoner by the, the blonde ringlets. Where are they going to get taken? I don't know. But it's going to be very interesting Interesting when we notice um, this is Pina Colada's, like, sisters, right? Not not blood related, but like, it's, it's like their comrades, right? So now, Pina Colada understands, like, how... They, they, they should not be fucking around with the modern military people, like right? the people in green. So like, when we get taken hostage, and Pina gets to get this knowledge that, holy shit, what have you done? Like, oh my god. Oh my god, right? That's gonna be a fucking great moment. I'm sure it's gonna happen pretty soon, but that's it for me. If you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video. Check out the other playlist for more content. And until next time, take care.